In this video, I'm going to jack up my Citroen GSA with its hydro pneumatic suspension, but really it should jack itself up. So um, let's give it a go. So the reason I'm doing this is because I've got a steering rack gator, inner gator has come off on this side. So I just need to get some access so I can attach it with a cable tie. Um, that means getting the car up in the air because the rule number one of the hydraulic Citroen is that while the car can raise itself, you don't want to rest under it or reach under it while it's up on its own hydraulic pressure in case something fails catastrophically. Hence why we have an axle stand here, borrowed from my neighbour who owns that lovely Viva in the background. Um, see if we can see the rat gator, but I don't think we can. Uh, no, it's down there somewhere. We shall try and get in. Uh, so stage one is to start the car up and let her rise on her own suspension. So we do this by remembering where we've put the key. Uh, it's always best to do this when it's um, slightly raining and uh, there's a thunderstorm. Um, threatening, but start the engine. Move the height lever to maximum. And she should rise gracefully into the air. There she goes. Back end is starting to rise. Arise Giselle the GSA. The exhaust blow does sound like it's getting worse, unfortunately. The back end's coming up, the front end yet to follow. There it goes. And now we can clearly see the problem. The gator is down this end, it needs to be covering the teeth up there. So we'll um, get, see if we can get her raised up first of all. I've got a chock under the opposite front wheel. I've got the handbrake on. I've got the, uh, I will put her in gear once I turn the engine off. But in theory, it's as simple as slotting this jack into this slot there on the bodywork. And now the bravery is letting the car drop down again. So we can turn the engine off. And uh, I'm just going to go to the middle setting first of all, which should trap the jack as she comes down. Obviously, you want to be pretty sure your sills are solid before starting this. Down comes the car. She doesn't quite come down to the bottom. Oh, no, there we go. The, she's just settled on the jack. So we'll go to the next position down. Listen to those hydraulics at work. And then she starts settling on the jack. Now, um, it's an interesting point. The GSA doesn't actually have a lever position for super low, but nonetheless, I think she's just lifted her wheels. Yeah, there we go. Rear wheel is now off the ground. Front wheel is, um, well, it's not entirely off the ground. And, uh, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to reach where that needs to be attached. There's a big long drive shaft. There should be something holding it at that end in there. Uh, we'll see how this goes. I might open the bonnet to try and shed a bit more light on the situation. Oh, I hear thunder. That's exciting. Uh, I'm going to try and lower the car further by undoing this 12 mil nut here on the pressure regulator. Make sure my toes are clear and I like the way the 12 mil doesn't quite fit in there. There we go, that should drop all the pressure out of the hydraulics. So she'll drop down to the minimum setting on this side. Give me maximum access. Sounds good. And we'll nip that back up again.
I can't actually get the axle stand underneath at the moment and uh, I think I might have to do some jacking actually get a bit more height I was hoping the extra angle would be enough uh, I prepared um, something for that there it is so I should be able to increase the height on here It's not very quick. There we go, it's just a bit more security under there. So we've got the car on the jack, we've got a stand as well. Um, I wouldn't necessarily trust it to support the weight of the car on that sill. We should do one, I'm trying to work out what I'm gonna do here. What I'm gonna do here, probably take the wheel off. So now we can take in how the suspension works Got a drive shaft coming in here, but it's a double wishbone. And on this upper wishbone is the hydraulic strut. And there's the return pipes going off, or the feed and return pipes. Um, firstly, heading off to the um, LHM tank. Uh, so I can see where the gator needs attaching now. A bit long gator. Um, but yeah, it's not gonna stay there without something holding it. Uh, see where that axle stand might start becoming a bit of a pain move it along the sill a bit like i say we've already got one mechanical thing locking in that shouldn't let it go but that's just an extra bit of security going on there and uh i'm gonna get in i don't know if i'm gonna be able to hold the camera to hold that in place i would ideally like to grease it but i haven't got any grease on me but the main thing is to get that covered up stop muck getting in because i've got quite a lot of miles to do this week so I'll just shut up and get on with it. Well, I've got it all connected up again. I'm not sure how long it's going to stay there. It doesn't feel particularly tight. There's a plastic tube which goes through the subframe to the steering rack. And it just seems quite tight to me. I don't think it's likely to stay in place. But I've done what I can for now. Uh, I can't see a way of getting a cable tie on it. It'd be a lot easier to see it if it was on a ramp. Um, so I think we'll leave that for now. And so that's good enough. Uh, this is a Dalmatian. It can't be a random Dalmatian when you're making car videos. Just snug these up a bit. And now, there we go. Remove that. And we'll start the engine there. again. We need the car to rise. It'll take a while because I've removed all the hydraulic pressure. Well, we'll put that back on high. We should start the engine. Should give it a bit of a helping hand. Oh, well, she's coming back up already. Incidentally, uh, we should be able to do the free wheels on a GSA trick. You may have already seen my free wheels on a DS trick. Uh, that should be possible on a GSA. We're not going to do it today because I just need somewhere to go for a drive nice and safely and legally once I've got the wheel off. Uh, we're just waiting for her to sort herself out. I may have to let some out of the jack again. So let's do that. Oh yes, that middle exhaust is starting to blow quite a bit. There is plenty of sign of leakage there. A lot easier than having to jack the entire car. Oh yeah, there we go, we're getting loose. Almost. There we go. That is how you um, jack up a hydraulic Citroen. Uh, put the lever back to normal and she should settle down. There she goes. Beautiful, isn't it? An entirely mechanical self-leveling system. Very, very clever. 
So there we go, that was just a short video on how you jack up a hydraulic Citroen. You basically put it on full height, you whack your jack in, and then you let the car down and the car does the rest. It seems to work um, pretty well as these things go. Uh, makes life a little bit easier. Like I say, future videos, I want to do some freewheel tricks in the GSA. Um, should be um, a good bit of fun, I reckon. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. I shall see you in a future video. Farewell.